Today I'm going to show you how to make an awesome backing track in Ableton Live in five minutes. Let's jump in. So go ahead and grab your favorite drum loop. I personally really like Yurt Rock as well as AJ Hall, two great uh, companies to source some drum loops from. I've got these great George Slepic drums and I'm going to grab them and drop them right into audio track one. We're not going to use any MIDI today, so I can go ahead and delete MIDI track one, MIDI track two. Now let's go ahead and pick a key. I think we might as well use a minor key because it's really a lot easier to make minor sound cool, funky, and awesome. Let's use C minor today. So the notes in C minor are going to be C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, and we're back to C. Now if we're looking at the chords in the key of C minor, we're going to have a C minor triad or C minor 7 chord. We're going to have typically either a D diminished chord or D minor 7 flat 5, E flat major, E flat major 7, F minor or F minor 7, G minor or G minor 7, but for several hundred years composers have been using the 5 chord as a dominant as well. We've got the sixth chord or the flatted sixth chord that's going to be either an A flat major or A flat major 7. And B flat, the flat 7 chord is going to be B flat major or B flat dominant 7. So let's pick four of those chords to use today. So I'm going to go ahead and use C minor 7, A flat major 7, F minor 7, and let's use G dominant 7 for our 5 chord. So that's the 1, the flatted 6, the four and the five. All right, so we got these great drums from George Slupik. Let's go ahead and play each of these chords for one measure. I'm gonna lay down track number one, let's go. Gotta pick my right input, which is input number seven. And here we are. I like one bar of count off just so I can get ready. One, two, three, four. Now I really like to record two times through so that the track doesn't sound so loopy. I'm gonna go ahead and pan that guitar to the left. I'm gonna make a new track by going Command T and I'm gonna pan this track to the right, set that setting as input number seven for my guitar again. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play higher chord voicings of those same chords. So C minor, A flat, F minor to G7. Let's go. All right, so now we got two different guitar parts playing the same chords, trying to complement. I have them panned hard left and hard right. Let's go ahead and lay in some bass. All right, I got my bass tuned up. I got input two. Let's go ahead and lay down a little bass line for this. One, two, three, four. All right, now I've got my bass laid on there and I got all kinds of room to jam over top. Let's check it out. Now that you've checked out how easy it is to make a great backing track in Ableton Live, go ahead and click this video next to immediately improve your guitar solos.